In this video, we discuss learning outcome number one, which is all about constructing scatter plots and using scatter plots to infer whether there is a correlation between two variables. We're actually not going to construct any scatter plots in this video. There are other videos in the homework help section that show you how to construct a scatter plot using Excel, but we are going to define them in this video and then talk about how we can use scatter plots to determine whether or not there's a correlation between variables. So here's our, our first example. My question for you is, does there appear to be a relationship between these two variables? What we have here is a graph of waist circumference in centimeters on that, what would be the x-axis or a horizontal axis, and arm circumference in centimeters for the same person on what would be the y-axis or the vertical axis. And we've plotted those together um, on this um, grid and when, we're able, when we plot those ordered pairs together, we're able to get a sense of whether or not there's a relationship between waist circumference and arm circumference. When I look at this, I see that in general, as waist circumference goes up, arm circumference tends to go up as well. Now it's not perfect. These don't all lie on um, a perfect line, but they all sort of hover around a line, right? You've got this, this line um, this like collection of data that all sort of goes from the bottom uh, left to the top right. So there does appear to be a relationship between those variables and this graph is um, allowing us to determine whether there's a relationship. So a graph like this is called a scatter plot. Sometimes it's called a scatter diagram. It's just a graph of paired um, quantitative data. So we've got to have x values and y values um, that are represented by numbers, they're numerical, and those numbers are measures of something or counts of something. We tend to plot the first variable on the x-axis or the horizontal axis and plot the second variable on the vertical axis or the y-axis. Now correlation is our technical term for a relationship between the two variables. So when I asked you, does there appear to be a relationship between waist and circumference? Um, what I was asking you, in other words, is is there a correlation or does there appear to be a correlation uh, between waist size or waist circumference and arm circumference? And I said, just glancing at this, just looking at this and using my intuition, it looks to me like as waist circumference goes up, arm circumference goes up. Um, so there does appear to be a relationship. There does appear to be a correlation between those variables based on this picture. This distinct pattern of plotted points suggests that there is a correlation between waist circumference and arm circumference. Um, because as you look at it from left to right, um, waist, uh, arm circumference tends to go up as waist circumference tends to go up. That pattern that we're seeing um, suggests a correlation or a relationship between the two variables. Now, not all correlations are linear. Um, we can have correlations that exhibit different um, patterns. You might see a uh, something that looks quadratic or something that looks exponential or something that looks like a polynomial. Um, but here we're talking about a linear correlation. A linear correlation, oops, I guess that was sort of out of order. If a, cor a correlation is a relationship between variables, a linear correlation um, is a linear relationship between variables. The paired data in this case appear to lie on a straight line or near a straight line. When one variable increases, the other increases. That may be one case. Um, in that case, the line would have a positive slope. As you look at it from left to right, it goes up. Um, now, if as one variable increases, the other decreases, then that line would have a negative slope. It goes down as you go from left to right. Now, here's an example. It's that same example as before. We've got waist and arm circumference. The question is, is there a linear correlation? And we would say, yes, there is a distinct pattern. Um, those, plot, uh, those points lie near a straight line. And as waist circumference increases, arm circumference e increases. So there appears to be a linear correlation. Here's another example. These are weights of individuals and their pulse rates in beats per minute. Does a straight line appear to um, pass through that data? Does this data have a linear relationship? 
I hope you said no. Those dots are everywhere. <laughs> Those plotted points are everywhere. They're all over the place. Um, so there does not appear to be a correlation. There's no distinct pattern in the plotted points. Um, so we would say, based on this graph, um, I don't think there's a correlation between someone's weight and their pulse rate. Okay, that's it for learning outcome number one. I will see you in the next video, or you will see me in the next video for learning outcome number two.